How's it going guys? Glasgow Harley Rider here. Mind the own business, sitting on the couch there, just uh, online. In fact, I was on Facebook and uh, happened to be on the DJI page uh, for the devices that I've got. And I just happened to notice that people were talking about a software update. And I just assumed it would be for the new 5 Pro. It's for the Osmo Action 3, which this video is coming to you filmed from my Osmo Action 3, which I still have. I was in the process of looking at a uh, possible upgrades to the 5 and the 5 Pro, but DJI have just released an update. Um, what is the update about? So the last update, you will remember if you've got an Osmo, it's been a while. The last one was the 26th of April last year, 2023, which enhanced image quality, video shooting modes for certain resolutions, frame rates, improved image quality when using it as a webcam. That was all useful stuff. Optimise UI display for certain functions and fix bugs, blah, 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 right? That was great. Um, the one that's come out for today, and the firmware version, guys, that you need for this download is 010401.10. That is a 2024 Osmo Action 3 battery-related firmware download. Enjoy. So the update today that's came out um, for the Osmo Action 3 only, I believe. There may be other updates coming out. I know there's one coming out for the new 5 Pro. Uh, but the update that's came out today is actually to, <laughs> believe it or not, to assist with using the Extreme Battery Plus. So it's actually saying, I'm just checking my notes here, sorry. Um, added support for using with Osmo Action Extreme Battery Plus. The new ones, the new ones that come with the 5 Pro, the 1950 milliamp battery can now be used in the Osmo Action 3. Hello? Uh, that's pretty good. That's very impressive that these batteries can now be backwards compatible. I know you can use them in the 4. I did not expect that they would be able to be used in the 3. So that's that's excellent. That means now I can, if I was to buy some of these batteries, they could actually be used in this old, now two iterations uh, replaced Action 3. So that's something to tip your hat to uh, DJI for doing that. Uh, so I've still got the Action 3 and I will at some point very soon be hoping to upgrade this to the 5 Pro. That's what I was looking for. I've held off uh, from the upgrade to the 5 Pro because I've been reading that there is a new firmware coming, a new firmware update coming for the Osmo Action 5 Pro which will increase the bitrate. Well, the bitrate will be adjusted with this firmware. I feel like a lot of people have been really uh, losing themselves about the, the way it came with the bitrate uh, being lesser than what they expected. So exciting times. So do uh, keep me posted on the comments. If anybody has the 5 Pro and this update comes, I will be checking out myself on YouTube to see what uh, does evolve from the 5 Pro. But at the moment, I just sort of would pop on here and let you know that if you've got an Action 3, and I know a couple of guys have that do the motovlogging, uh, that are still in the older generation camera like me um, the DJI have actually did an update and that is fabulous so thank you DJI I uh, did not see that coming the, I will be on the, the Action 3 I might even keep the Action 3 as a secondary camera uh, I did think about that You know, not a lot of people are now going to want to buy an Action 3 second hand it has been well looked after I've got the Adventure Combo with the stick and the other spare batteries but now I can buy the 1950 milliamp batteries and add them to the setup so the camera's still getting updated it's still current and it still does the job um, and move on to something else for the main camera watch this space guys um, yeah let me know if you've got a DJI camera which one you've got uh, obviously I started off with the original DJI Osmo and then I've now moved my way on to the Osmo Action 3 which I've been more than happy with the reason I'm still using it is uh, I got the Osmo Action 3 about three weeks before the Osmo Action 4 came in. Um, so I've just kept this one and kept using it for all my videos, whether on the bike or holidays or whatever else, uh, as a train goes steaming past the house. City living and all that. Um, yeah, so the Action 3 has been doing me very well and it's not really let me down. In fact, it's not let me down. There's been absolutely no problems with it at all, uh, and the quality has been first class. does everything that I need it to do, but I will, probably, will be upgrading to the 4 or the 5 soon. Let me know uh, in the comments. I know a lot of people are happy to stick with the 4. Please let me know if you have any preference. 
I've looked at a lot of videos of the five a lot. I've looked at a lot of videos, a lot of uh, different opinion, some sponsored, some unsponsored, some for, some against, about the night time and the, uh, the footage that's coming out of the five. A lot of people really loving it. Some people are criticising it. Um, I think people are expecting absolute perfection. Um, you've got to be realistic, the size of these cameras and what they deliver. If I get really good daytime footage, I'm delighted, and the bike and the steady, you know, obviously the rock steady and everything works. I'm happy with that. I'm not really using this for nighttime photography or nighttime filming. But that's where we are. So, new firmware, keep posted. Let me know uh, what is happening in your Osmo or otherwise world with DJIs. I know there's a new Ace Pro 2 coming out as well, which is exciting me. Um, and the other company don't really bother with so hey uh, let me know keep in touch and uh, please like share and subscribe and i'll speak to you soon cheers bye bye